it's Carol here bringing you another video. I've made this little box. Um, it's not going to exactly look like this, um, but it will kind of look like this. I've used old DSP because this was my sample. And in here are four little candles. They're Yankee candles and they are black cherry. I bought them in boxes of 12. Um, and they smell amazing. Oh, smell a vision. That's what we need. So we'll take another four out. But these would make little gifts for people. So this was my prototype, and I've got the measurements, and I now know what I'm going to make. So you need a piece of designer series paper, and for some reason at the moment, I have a new. <laughs> I have a new scoring tool that's supposed to help me and it's not. Look, it's, it's me. Let's have a look see what I'm doing wrong. It should measure six and a quarter by seven inches. So what am I doing? There's six and a quarter. Just doesn't look right. Okay, we'll go with it and we'll see. So, sorry, six and a quarter by seven inches. And what you need to do is score. So, if we score on the six and a quarter side, we're going to score at one and a half inches. And then four and three quarters. Turn it so it's on the longer side and you're going to score it at one and a half, three and a quarter, four and three quarters, making sure all the time it's lined up here because I nearly went off then and then six and a half is right in the middle of there if you've got this trimmer, put that away. Then I'm going to fold everything make sure you do them all right and then get your snips that are hiding and you've got a small piece here you're going to snip those off like that. And you're going to snip these. These are there's two smaller, so the two smaller you want to cut and you want to notch. Okay. of all this now before we glue it together I want to make I've decided over here, I've decided to use little circles instead of that punch that is no longer in existence and it's circles are from the frame lit circles and they're not it's not the smallest it's the next two up so if I put that there and what I want is that's going to be there so that's going to be my front. So I want to make a little circle out of it. But I'm going to have a circle of silver. So let's get the big shot in. Right. Get the big shot. And what I want. Is that going to fit through without being that hurting? Yeah, I think it will. Alright, put that there. Take out the circle. And then what 
I want. It's so pretty. What I want is a circle of, well, a border of, I want silver or gold. Now, I'm trying to find a piece in my stash. My silver and gold seems to be all over the place at the moment. All right, there's some gold, that'll do. That will do. All I want is a little border. Okay, that one goes back good. Yeah. Because what I, the card has got silver and gold on it, so I'm mixing it up with silver and gold ribbon and embossing um, letters do your big shot and then what you'll have because you've done that you'll have a border look which is really cool so let me put my dies back in here so they've been outside now for a while they might get lost i think i'll glue this on before i glue everything down gives some definition to the window doesn't it right let's use some fast oh sorry let's use some fast fuse on here okay and then that's going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom in Ooh. okay put them in all four should fit put those like that and then you see you can see kind of what you've got right so I decided I didn't want to glue this down what I want to do is tie it up with some pretty ribbon so this is the gold trimmed ribbon so what I need is you know, I've tied so many I don't want it in front of it I want it kind of like that oh what am I doing I'm trying not to cut it off the roll before I cut it, just try and save some ribbon. But I think we'll go with that much and we'll see what happens, shall we? Right. So I've cut about 20 inches. That'll be way too much. Better to have too much than not enough ribbon. Okay, you're going to do a lovely big bow, so that's actually really good. Okay, then what I want, so that will keep that shut, now what I want is a tag, and I've decided that I'm going to emboss. I'm sure I got, yeah I did, got it out. You see I can't find it because everything's everywhere on the table and I don't like it. Oh. Right, first mark. I've chosen this 
I'll show you in a minute because I'm getting ahead of myself. Right. Okay. To that. Right, so I'm going to I'm going to use the heat gun now and then I'll tell you about the stamp. the labels of love labels to love sorry and I've chosen the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year you need the lab everyday label punch I'm gonna put that in there I didn't give myself a lot to play with to hold did I Oh well, it worked. Who cares? As long as it works. I'm using white wine and I need my one eighth hole punch, handheld punch. I'm going to put it there. Right. Get some twine, put it through. It. and then all I want I want to hang it from the side because I don't want it to cover up my lovely Just tie a knot like that there you go so you've got a lovely little gift so I went from where's my sample gone there's my sample Right, there's my sample in some DSP, last year's DSP, with that cut out. And I've gone and I've made this pretty one with a beautiful tag, some lovely ribbon, and they can actually open it without ripping it all. So, I hope you've enjoyed that little project. Take care. Bye. <laughs>